about nine and a half years to eventually get this one <laughs> and she's got a twin sister too and they're 19 and then I had William five and a half years later and um, like I said I used donor, um, embryos we went through all the ICSIs and using ourselves and whatever and uh, finally we were lucky we were offered embryos which jump, I jumped on that because I'd already done uh, using sperm donor and it was fine and um, uh, talking about um, our kids have known when, as soon as they were born, I talked to them um, whenever. And as I got a bit older, anything on the TV, because there was a lot of IVF would be on a TV, and actually one of my specialists was on, and I was saying, he helped you, he helped you. <laughs> and so they just brought up knowing it. And part of also doing it from at such a young age, I got to practice my story my language because no one had had um, children conceived with embryos, uh, donated embryos I should say. So I didn't know how I was going to talk to them and explain it all to them, particularly about donor. All the other medical side of things is pretty easy but when you actually have donor that's where it gets a little bit complicated. William is actually with different uh, donors than with um, Sarah and Rebecca and one of, an example of how I used um, to talk to the girls about. Um, once I got pregnant, they were at kinder, and um, one of the funny things, we were actually, they were doing kinder gym, and the teacher came up to me later and said, oh, I hear you're pregnant with an embryo. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. And I said, yes, I am. <laughs> and so they knew the terminology from early on, and um, that sort of stuff. And then also with the girls being in kinder, um, I knew William's donors were blue-eyed, uh, um, light hair, whereas, as you can see, Sarah's got gorgeous, dark, curly hair. She had um, uh, Israel, hard Israel. And, and that. So I knew if I had a child through using his donors, they would be most likely blue-eyed. So I made sure I explained that I wanted my girls to, you know, suddenly see this blue-eyed uh, blonde boy, which he was. Um, <laughs> But then Sarah got a little bit upset because she wanted to have blue eyes like me. <laughs> and because uh, her father uh, actually, you know, uh, Terry, is, he's got brown eyes. I said, we well, got brown eyes like Dad. And she said, no, I want blue eyes like you. And I said, well, lucky you can get, you know, contact lenses and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> Changed her. Because with William, uh, we've actually had contact with his donors all the way through. Um, and we, we always... Whereas the girls, we don't we don't know whether we can contact them at all because they were they were born in '93. Whereas William, we always knew. And um, anyway, I, I send cards to thank them, and they send cards back to me, and they've sent photos. And it's only recently um, I've uh, William's actually viewed the pictures of his donor family. Um, so, but I've over the years, he's 14 now. I've written to them and just gave him a bit of an update of what's happening with him and things like that. And it was just recently when he decided he wanted to view there. So he knew about it eventually once he got old enough to understand it and eventually he did. Um, so we, again, we've got different, I had to be able to explain that to the girls where they may not ever be able to, whereas Will, he's got the choice, he can. Uh, look, I just, my mom is my mom, my dad's my dad, my sister's my sister. And even though I don't look like my brother and we're not genetically related at all, He's my brother. I don't know. It's just really simple to me. We were always told, like, growing up, so I just don't see it as a big deal. If that makes sense. <laughs> I kind of look the same yeah. to um, my genetic brother yeah. and, and sister yeah. a little bit. Um, exciting, yeah? Yes. You know, curious. I have been for a while. So. I know, like, in biology or health at school, Whenever we got kind of on the topic, I was like, ooh, ooh, let me tell my story. <laughs> and so I got to tell my story and people weren't negative. They were just really curious about the whole thing. It wasn't, yeah, there was no negative. There was when also back to what you're saying about a five-year-old. Uh, in primary school, if one of the kids wanted to show and tell something about it, because um, we had been in the paper a couple of times with some pictures, and so they wanted to take their picture, they were on the paper. And be, so I would go and talk 
to the teacher first mm -hmm. and explain it all. And then we would decide what sort of tack to take and whatever. And there was never any issues, ever. And all the way through, even when I was trying to get pregnant, all through the IVF, everything, everyone knew. Um, my mum's, I come from a Catholic family, eight children, and my mum was very Catholic, but it, she was a bit hesitant at the beginning. She didn't quite understand, but if she, if she wanted me to stay around, she had to stick, and she did, and she loves them to death. There's, there's been no, you know. And one of the things deciding to do, use donor sperm or eventually embryo, was if my husband and I couldn't co deal with it ourselves, um, we didn't care about anyone else. We thought it's gonna be our family we're creating, and um, luckily we didn't have no problems at all. I really had no negative um, situations at all. Yeah. I never thought to be um, a secret, because um, I never really heard about using donor sperm before when we first started eventually to use donor sperm. And you go to counselling, you should probably all know, and I thought, well, why wouldn't you tell? I just, because it's nothing to be ashamed of or anything, you know, it just, and my husband and I, we both are both open and honest about it. And I think sometimes when you uh, show your joy or your um, feeling about it all, people take that on board, will ask you questions if they're interested. <coughs> Some people just don't really care less, they're in their own world, it's, it doesn't matter. You know, when I had the girls, because Rebecca is dark hair too, um, you know, I had my twins, you know, pushing them along. They look at them, look at me, never look like me at all, you know. But the twins, they were just so, because people are so excited for you, happy for you, especially they twins. They say things though, like, oh, they don't look like you. You and I go, no, they don't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, thank God, you know. So, um, whereas they might look like, yeah, whereas when Will came, he's blonde, blue eyed, so people tend to maybe say something a bit more. But you do get used to it and, um, uh, it, it's, it becomes funny actually sometimes when what people say or people forget. They forget your story because I know when you're doing it all, it is your story and you're really, really, you know, it. But then, um, and you start, and you do worry about other people, how they're going to affect you because that's where, what we really life is, you know, yeah. humans. But um, in the end, it's you, how you feel, and when you get this baby, you know. I had no problem connecting with them or, you know, and. They're always my children. No one could ever say, you know, oh, but don't you ever think, you know, because I've got a, a big family who a lot of other children. And and actually that's when they sort of would notice, oh, Sophie looks like, you know, or my, one of them would look like my sister or something. You know, they, they will notice things, but um, yeah, so. I just like to think of it as, it's just another way to have kids. Ooh. Like, you know, times are changing and that's, People are going to have to learn to be accepting if they're not. And it's just another way to get a family. It's also yeah. a pretty good friend making thing. You know, like, oh, you're frozen for, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was frozen. <laughs> 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 That's right. yes. No, because we were the first ones. We were the first ones to try it. So, and I just said, yes, thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. I was just lucky they turned out like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, you do think a yeah. donor's ugly. You know, do they use an ugly donor's? Yes, you know. Yes, you know. No, no, but you're not. <laughs> you do, because you have all this, the unknown. You, you can just go round and round and round, you know. Very well, it does.